Look, you know my philosophy? There's absolutely nothing honest about monogamy. Monogamy is about repressing every urge a human being has. Your complete nature. It is the essence of lying to oneself. I'm telling you, man, it's in our blood. Our particles. <laughs> we are nothing more than a bunch of tiny little insignificant particles of protein sitting on some dirt in the midst of a universe which is probably just a white hole piggybacked on top of a black hole. Yeah, I got cable. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> anyway, my point is, asshole, don't try to deny yourself because you can't. I mean, what is the one thing we as human beings try to attain over and over again but never can? Peace and monogamy. Mm -mm. Fighting and fucking. Fighting and fucking. We can't help ourselves. It's who we are. Human beings don't make for life. It's a scientific fact. We tell ourselves we do because it's a lie. Society forces on us. Because deep down, so far down in the smallest, darkest part of ourselves, we know that if we do, we'll go extinct. Just like those wolves and pandas who are too dumb to screw walking off into the species sunset. But not us. Mm -mm. Our life force screams at us to protect and produce. Protect and produce. It's bigger than us, bro. Everything is bigger than us. Come on, here's some nuts. Sack the fuck up. Hey, Chad. Back for some loving? No, I'm not. Are you sure? I'm sure. Well, I can't really do anything else at the moment. Really busy. Chad, I think we should break up. Cool. What? Did you just hear what I said? Yeah. No more relationship. Okay, just to clarify, the relationship is over. I'm leaving, and I never want you to call, text, email. Well, you don't have an email, so that won't really be a problem. And no, 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 no more Snapchat. But you love seeing little Chad. I do not. Really? He likes seeing you. I find him to be kind of repulsive. But, but he gets all excited when you're around and jumps up and just wants to get on you. Okay, for the sake of your soul, please stop. You pretend like you don't like him, but I know you do. Okay, Chad. This is over. Cool. You really don't care at all, do you? Uh, not really. You can't just show one moment of sincerity. No, Sarah. Don't go. You smelled decent? God damn it, Chad. After everything that I've done for you, you probably wouldn't have graduated college if it weren't for me. And the most you can give me is you smell decent? You smell pretty good. Okay, I'm leaving you and I'm never coming back, you poopy pissy head. Poopy pissy head? I don't know. Goodbye forever. Why is it that every time we are in this restaurant, we get into an argument? But it always seems like the same one. You tell me I don't listen to you, I tell you. You don't listen to me, and then you say that I don't appreciate your cat enough. And then I say, you don't even have a cat. So yeah, right now, I'm gonna stop us before we even start. I'm not gonna say what I know you want me to say because I don't wanna fight with you, okay? I love you. Even when we have these stupid arguments, I still love you. I mean, you seem to know how to bring out the best of me, even if it's through the worst. And you're great that way. Well, why do you have that look on your face? I'm trying to have a tender moment with you in this god-awful restaurant. No offense, white staff. You guys are doing great. And here you are giving me a look like I just set your grandmother on fire. I don't even know your grandmother. What, what did I do? What, did I say something wrong? Is this the point where you tell me that I don't appreciate your cat enough or that your mother hates me or that I shouldn't have mentioned your grandmother because she's an evil witch who tried to eat a school bus full of kindergarten kids? What is it? Just tell me. Oh. <laughs> you know me so well that you can bring me to a place like this just to get me all riled up because you know that when we get home we get to have hot and crazy, not quite break up sex. When you were talking about your actual cat, you were talking about your... Oh my God. I don't think I've ever been so turned on in my life. Oh, you just get me. Yo, home, girl. You know, I know your girlfriend's back in the day, and you know, she was telling me that you were looking for somebody, and I, so I'm slim. But call me sugar, she thick, and call me looking, don't trip. You too good looking, don't slip. You could be looking at the future's Mrs. Sugar, if she play her cards right. And you know, I'm getting that money, I tell you. <laughs>